Hey, welcome back. So if somebody asked you what your skin type is, would you actually be able to tell them? Do you really know what your skin type is? I bet you don't. I'm gonna tell you why coming up on Scene Beauty. All right, welcome back to Scene Beauty for women over 40 who want to be seen. Today we're gonna to talk about skin types. So this is a question that I ask women all the time, what is your skin type? And I get this deer in the headlights look. They literally don't know how to answer that. And that's because we've never really been taught um, about skin types in the right way. So a lot of people will say, oh, combination, but they say, I'm a combination of oily and dry. But the thing is, that's not an actual skin type. When you're combination, it's usually that you are normal and oily or normal and dry. So that whole oily and dry thing isn't truly dry skin. People are really confused about that. So I would just wanna go through the basic skin types for you so that you can better identify what you are and that's really gonna help you in terms of choosing product. Um, this whole week is gonna be about skincare. Later in the week, my next video is going to be about exfoliation. Exfoliation is the key to life, I'm telling you. It's just the key to life, believe me. So we're gonna talk about exfoliation in a whole different video, but right now we're gonna talk about the different skin types. So the characterization of oily skin is when you have oil production, even in late morning. So early in the day, your skin might be acting pretty normal, but as you get into late morning, early afternoon, you're going to get really shiny and greasy, not just through this T-zone area, but also onto the cheek area. So if you don't have any oiliness throughout the entire day on your cheeks, you're not truly oily skin. When you go outside and you sweat in the summer, that doesn't mean you have oily skin. I hear this one a lot. It drives me crazy. The other thing I hear is, well, I get sweaty when I go to the gym. Yes, you're gonna get sweaty. You should get sweaty when you go to the gym. That's not the same as oily skin. And by the way, don't wear makeup to the gym, please. It's terrible for your skin. Just don't do it. Everybody in the gym is just working out. They don't really care what you look like. You really shouldn't care what you look like. You should be caring about your workout. Don't wear makeup to the gym, please, 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 please. The next skin type is normal to oily. So normal to oily is when you get oil even onto the cheek area much later in the day. Okay, The skin stays pretty much the same throughout the day, but as the day goes on, as you get into like late afternoon, you start to get kind of greasy on this cheek area. So that's a normal to oily skin type. If you do not have any oil on the cheeks throughout the day ever, but you have a little bit of oil through this center region, the forehead, the nose, sometimes even a little bit in the center of the chin, your skin type is actually pretty normal. That's a normal skin type. So that's, I think, where a lot of the confusion comes in. People think that if they have normal skin, they never get any oil. Normal skin is skin that still produces oil, okay? So it's really important that you don't think, oh, if my skin produces some oil, I'm automatically really oily. You're not. If you have skin that tends to not get really any oil during the day at all, if it just stays the same morning to night and gets no oil through that center region, then you're normal to dry. If your skin produces no oil at all, you have dry skin. But that's the only determination of truly dry skin is no oil production. So when you think that your skin is dry, it's likely, unless your skin is producing no oil at all, that you have surface dehydration. So you may have normal skin with surface dehydration, meaning you're either not getting enough moisture or more likely you're not exfoliating enough. And the way that you know the difference between those two things is if your dryness is flaky or patchy, means that you need exfoliation. So those two things can be a little bit confusing. You can characterize and see truly dry skin by the thickness of the look of the skin. If your skin 
looks like it's very thin, if it seems like it's really close to the bones and you can really see your bone structure very strongly and your skin looks super thin, that's probably truly dry skin. If you have that leathery look, that's sun damage. And that skin is probably quite dry, actually, because sun really takes a lot of the moisture out of the skin. Exfoliation is going to be your friend if you have any flakiness, if you have patchy dryness, dead skin builds up unevenly, so then you get those patches all over your face. So if you put foundation on and you get those areas where the foundation sticks to dry spots, that means that you need to exfoliate. Um, we're going to talk about the different forms of exfoliation in the next video coming up on Thursday. So stay tuned for that video because there are different forms. Grainy scrubs are not the only type of exfoliation. Interrupt here again once more to talk about sunscreen, especially if you have dry skin, but really for everybody, you need to use sunscreen. I do not want you to get skin cancer. It is a huge problem right now. It is not hard to use sunscreen. Have it in your moisturizer, have it in a tinted moisturizer, have it in your foundation, have it in a setting spray with sunscreen in it. I don't care how you do it, wear your sunscreen. Thank you. So I hope that helps you in terms of different skin types and helping to determine what yours is. Please put your questions below in the comments if you're still having trouble determining what your skin type is, and then I will try to answer those for you. Um, follow me on Instagram at Silver Beauty Life and on my blog, silverbeautylife.com, and I will try to post a blog on that site um, about this exact topic so that you can go through and read those different skin types to help you out. So. Thanks so much for joining me today. Tune in on Thursday for the exfoliation video, and I hope you have a really great week.